All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother not by Ayasha, the Jim Mass Indianapolis camp. Come on another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with are you willing to be tortured for the Lord? Because the time is coming that we're going to have to put our uh, money where our mouth is. Meaning, we're going to have to uh, practice what we preach because the time is getting shorter and shorter and Esau about to come with this flood. He passes more and more laws, more and more legislature to justify his wickedness in his society. Just like here in uh, Indiana, uh, yesterday, uh, the law was passed to where the, the here in Indianapolis, where the IMPD, the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department, cannot be sued anymore for so-called uh, excessive force. So that means they now have the license to kill you Negro, Latino, Native American legally without any type of repercussions or consequences. See what I'm saying? So uh, Esau is getting his concentration uh, count geared up and ready for use. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they're gearing up for more and more draconian laws, more and more torture tactics, you know, against you Negro, Latino, Native Americans. Remember on the FEMA website it says, uh, in the case of emergency, that you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans are gonna be the first ones to be rounded up. See what I'm saying? And that's, and that's a law. So the time is coming where, hey, some of us might have to be tortured for you, how about she now was shot? Are you willing to go through with it or are you going to surrender and fold and take that chip? See what I'm saying? So we're going to go to uh, Second Maccabees. We're going to use the, the Maccabee brothers as an example of how to endure because they was tortured for you how about she now was shot sake. You know what I'm saying? They didn't, they didn't fall to the hands of these Edomites, you know, to the hands of uh, Antiochus. They 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 died, you know what I'm saying? In in the in the faith and believing in you, how about shooting out a shot? You know what I'm saying? They they went out like soldiers. And that's the mindset we gotta have for you, how about shooting out a shot, man. We can't be out here preaching this word and then when the time comes for us either uh put up or shut up, then we get weak and wanna sell out and, and fold. No. You know what I'm saying? I just couldn't say that you how about Shimei was shot, having given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. You know? So this is 2 Maccabees chapter 7. We'll start at verse uh, verse 1. It said, It came to pass also the seven brethren with their mother were taken. And that's what's going to happen. You, you know what I'm saying? When Esau bring that flood, uh, you know, by way of New World Order, by the way of Jacob's trouble. You know what I'm saying? When, when he declared martial law, all hell break loose. Guess what? Some of us are going to be rounded up into these concentration camps. They already got guillotines in a lot of these camps, you know? So it says, It came to pass also the seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh. So right here we're going to replace this swine's flesh with what? The mark of the beast, the RFID microchip. It says, and were tormented with scourges and whips. So they were beat. Just like some, some of us are going to be beaten in these concentration camps to what? To take this chip. You know what I'm saying? To try to sell out. To try to sell out your how about shit now was shot. But you got to be a soldier and stand firm for, uh, for your how about shit now was shot. You know what I'm saying? You can't waver or get weak. You know? You got to stay strong as a soldier. As a good soldier for your how about shit now was shot. It says, uh, verse 2, But one of them that spake first said, Thus what wouldest thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die, rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. That's right. And you got to have that same mindset. Hey, I'd rather die than, than transgress the laws that commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I'd rather die than to take that mark of the beast RFID microchip. Because you're going to die either way it go. See what I'm saying? So I'd rather die by the hands of Esau than die by the hands of Yahweh by Shimei Because the Lord could do you way worse than what Esau can. 
verse 3 it says, Then the king, being in a rage, commanded pans and cauldrons to be made hot, which for was being heated, he commanded to cut out the tongue of him that spake first, and to cut out the outmost parts of his body, me meaning he's being castrated. See what I'm saying? They cut off his fingers, his toes, and in the past, Esau would be cut off, cut off our rod, you know what I'm saying, our dingling. That's how sick and sadistic he is. See what I'm saying? And it's going to happen all over again, man. Like the scriptures say, there's no new thing under the sun. And you got to be willing to go through this to suffer for your how about shit now shot. It's a great honor to be a martyr for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, yeah, it might be scary at the time, but you got to understand, you how about Shemel Shai got your back. So like the scripture said, if the Most High be with us, who could be against us? You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, the rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. Now when he was thus minded in all his members, mm, the, no, it said verse 5, now when he was thus maimed in all his members, he commanded him, being yet alive, to be brought to the fire, and to be fried in the pan. And as the vapor of the pan was for a good space dispersed, they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully, saying thus, The Lord, Yahweh, looketh upon us, and in truth had comfort in us, as Moses in his song, which witnessed to their faces, declared, saying, And he shall be comforted in his servants. It says, so when the first was dead, after this manner, they brought the second to make him a marking stock. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head with the hair, meaning they scalped him. Could you imagine the pain that these brothers are going through for you? How about Shema was shot? But yet they still kept their integrity. It says, when they had pulled off the skin of his head with the hair, they asked him, will thou eat? Just like in, in this time, they're going to be like, now you're going to take the chip. It says, uh, before thou be punished throughout every member of thy body. But he answered in his own language and said, no. Hmm. Wherefore, he also received the next torment in order as the former did. So he got tortured too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he, did, he didn't succumb to the ways of, of Esau. He told Esau, kiss my ass. No, I'm not going to eat your swine flesh. They're like, we're going to say no. We're not going to take that chip. Lord willing, we summon those men. He keep the spirit on us to not take that chip, to die manfully. You know what I'm saying? Just like, uh, just like this said, to die manfully in the Lord. And that's what we want to do. As men of the Lord, we want to die manfully for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? We ain't trying to die like no cowards, man. We want to go out manfully for the Lord. So if that mean you got to die, so be it. You know? I know it's easier said than done, man, but hey. I'd rather die for you. How about Shimmy I was shy, man, than to die like a sucker selling the Lord out, man. Because that's what a lot of our people going to do. They're going to be suckers and sell the Lord out, man. For this fools, bro, which is a RFID microchip. Just, just so they can live and eat another day. Okay, this is back in Second Maccabees chapter seven, verse, uh, verse nine. It says, "And when he was at the last gasp, he said, Thou like a fury, take us, us out of this present life, but the King of the world shall raise us up, yeah, who have died for his laws unto everlasting life." It says, uh, "After him." was the third made in mocking stock. And when he was required, he put out his tongue and that right soon holding forth his hands manfully and said courageously, see, he said courageously, these I have from heaven and for his laws I despise them and from him I hope to receive them again. Insomuch that the king and they that were with him marveled at the young man's courage for that he Nothing regarded his, the pains. Now, when this man was dead also, they tormented and mangled the fourth in like manner. So when he was ready to die, he said thus, It is good, being put to death by men, to look for hope from Yahweh, to be raised up again by him. Because remember, Scripture say, The dead in Yahweh by Shemiah shall rise first. 
It said, as for thee, thou shalt have no resurrection to life. <laughs> Afterward, they brought the fifth also and mangled him. Then looked unto the king and said, Thou hast power over men. Thou art corruptible. Thou doest what thou wilt. Yet think not that our nation is forsaken of your power. But abide a while, and behold, this great power, how he will torment thee and thy seed. See? That, so he was speaking the words of Yahweh by Shema was shy. And why the Lord told us, take no thought of what we're going to say. You know what I'm saying? Because we're speaking the words of Yahweh by Shema was shy. You know, we, 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 I'm trying to get this thing. Now. We, as men of the Lord, hey, we're going to go through these hardships. The Lord told us this. The Lord warned us of these things. You know what I'm saying? So this type of stuff is going to happen. We just have to be ready for it when the time comes. You know, we can't cower up. You know, we can't get weak. You know, like I said, I know it's easier said than done, but hey, you gotta pray to you. How about Shimei? I try to keep the spirit on you to endure, like these brothers did, man. They went out like soldiers, man. You know, for what? For you, how about Shimei? I was shot, and the Lord honors that, man. You don't think you how about Shimei? I was shot, honor they, their deeds and their actions? Yes, He does. And we gotta have that same mindset. You know, we can't be afraid of what Esau do to us, man. What does the scripture say? Fear not him that destroy the body, but fear him that destroy both body and soul in hell. So who is that? That's your how about Shimei was shot. That's who we ought to fear. Not Esau. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid of what man can do. You know? Man can only do what your how about Shimei was shot allows him to do, man. You know? So it says, uh, Back in uh, 2 Maccabees 7, verse uh, 18, it said, After him also they brought the six, who being ready to die said, Be not deceived without cause. For we suffer these things for ourselves, having sinned against our power. Therefore marvelous things are done unto us. See what I'm saying? So, saying that is, hey, we deserve whatever the Lord brings our way, man. Why could we sin against you? How about you was shot? You know what I'm saying? We're not worthy of, of salvation, but yet the Lord finds something in us worthy for salvation. That's a miracle in itself. You know what I'm saying? We transgressed the laws of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So the Lord is righteous in all his judgment, you know? So we had to go through these things, hey, so be it, but we deserve it, you know? So we disobeyed the laws and the commandments of the Heavenly Father, you know? We did that. The Lord didn't do that. We did that. You know? So we had to suffer the consequences. But at the same time, the Lord still found something worthy in us to save us and deliver us. To have mercy on us. You know what I'm saying? To not hold it to our charge, man. Even though we deserve it. You know? But the Lord, hey, he the one that, that's going to redeem us and save us. Lord willing, we some of those men. You know? But... Even in that, you can't be high-minded and, and cocky in that, you know. You always got to stay humble, you know. So, hey, and that's what we're praying for. Lord, keep us humble, and the Lord deliver us up out of this hell hole. You know, we, hey, we don't want to be here and get and be tortured, you know. But if we have to, just pray to you, how about she may try to keep the spirit on you to, to go out like a soldier, to go out like a man, you know what I'm saying, and not go out like no chump, you know. Back in 2 Maccabees chapter 7. It says. Uh, back in Maccabees 7. Verse. Uh, eight, uh, verse 19. It said. But think not thou. That takest in hand to strive against Yahweh. That thou shalt escape unpunished. That's right. See the, see the Edomites. Hey, they got to get their punishment too. They not going to escape. They think they are, but no, they not. You know what I'm saying? Verse 20. It said, uh, what? Uh, let's see. 
Well, I'm gonna jump down to verse 24. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read verse 20. It said, But the mother was marvelous above all, and worthy of honorable memory. For when she saw her seven sons slain with the space of one day, and, and she buried with the good courage because of the hope that she had in the Lord, yea, she exhorted every one of them in her own language, meaning what? Speaking Hebrew. It said, Filled with courageous spirits and stirring up her uh, womanish thoughts with the manly stomach, she said unto them, I cannot tell how ye came into my womb, for I neither gave you breath nor life. That's a cut to all you women thinking that you don't want to give life to men, no. Mm -mm. It says, Neither was it I that formed the members of every one of you, but doubtless the creator of the world who formed the generation of man and found out the beginnings of all things will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again as ye now regard not your own self for his law's sake. It says, Now Antioch, this is Esau. Antioch represents Esau and the, and the elite because Antioch is an Edomite. It said, Now Antioch is thinking himself, despised and suspecting it to be a reproachful speech. Whilst the youngest was yet alive, did not only exhort him by words, but also assured him with oaths that he will make him both a rich and a happy man if he would turn from the laws of his fathers, and that also he would take him for his friend and trust him with affairs. So he was trying to get this the uh, the last Israelite brother to sell out. Just like Esau is going to try to get a lot of you Israelites to sell out by what? Taking this chip. See what I'm saying? Taking a mark of the beast. If our, this, this RFID microchip. You know? That's the same thing he's going to try to get y'all to do. Look. You take this chip, you will live forever. You know what I'm saying? I, I will be your God. What has your God done for you? Nothing but put you in this hell. If your God really loves you, then why he's allowing you to be tortured like this? See what I'm saying? Esau is carnal. He's not spiritual. You know what I'm saying? He he don't understand why we're going through what we're going through. You know what I'm saying? But that's why a lot of you Israelites now sold out to Esau. Because you really don't have the faith to believe in your how about Shimei was shot. Like you claim you do. You see what I'm saying? That's why a lot of y'all took that Judas person. Sold out. You know? You sold the Lord out for fool's gold. You didn't have faith to believe in Yahweh by Shema was shot. You believed in yourself. All right. It says, uh, back, uh, it said verse 25. But when the young man would in no case hearken unto him, the king caught his mother and exhorted her that she would counsel the young man to save his life. And when he had exhorted her with many words, she promised him that she would counsel her son. But she bound herself toward him, laughing the cruel tyrant to scorn, <laughs> spake in her country language on this manner, which was Hebrew. O oh, my son, have pity upon me that bear thee nine months in my womb, and gave thee suck three years, and nourished thee, and brought thee up unto this uh, age, and endured the troubles of education. I beseech thee, my son, look upon the heaven and the earth, and all that is therein, and consider that Yahweh made them of things that were not, and so was mankind made likewise. Fear not this tormentor. See, that's the attitude we got to have. We can't be afraid of this tormentor. You know, don't be afraid of him that, that killed the body. You know, it said, Fear not his tormentor, but being worthy of thy brethren, take thy death, that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brother, meaning what? In the kingdom of heaven. Reincarnation. It said, while she was yet speaking these words, it says, the young man said, whom wait ye for, I will not obey the king's commandment, but I will obey the commandment of the law that was given unto our fathers by Moses. See what I'm saying? So that's, that's the mindset we got to have. You can't be selling out like this to this man's society. You know, you can't be selling out like this to, uh, for this RFID microchip. You got to stand strong and bold for the Lord, you know, even if you had to be tortured. You see what I'm saying? And you got to be willing to go through that, you know. Hey, how you doing today? How's it going? 
Yeah. I'm doing all right. I'm about to chill. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, you see what I'm saying? So, hey, hey you got to be willing to do it, man. You know, push come to shove. If that's, if that's the case, you got to go through the torment. Well, hey, you got to go through it like a man. You know, so with that, above, above, hey, shallow one.